no Brisbane Cup. All set for the Brisbane Cup, 3,200 metres. Starter picking up the button. Set. They're racing in the Brisbane Cup. Great start to Petalinga near the inside began nicely. Sculptor fast away. Pentathon began okay, drifting back with Game On and Reggie in the early part. Holly Dazzle is going forward and so is Gorgeous George on the outside. Don't tell Clang. Martoon began nicely. He's going to settle fifth or sixth on the outside of Petalingro. Going up wide on the outside there is Derringer. He's off the track and Bazell is deep as well. Getting to midfield there is Abu Simbel. Art Success is next, then Pentathon. Lord Rupert has drifted back with Coldmain Game on. Then Reggie and Imperial immediately drops out last. They sort themselves out. Coming around the home turn the first time. They've got 2,400 metres left to go and it's Holly Dazzle the leader Gorgeous George is sitting up second on the outside, followed by Sculptor tucked away third the rails, Bazell in a lovely trotting position, Petaling grows over on the inside, a little wide as Derringer, Mart Toom is in a lovely spot, he's seventh in the centre, about five lengths off the leader, Pentathon is over on the rails, right behind Mart Toom is Art Success, covered by on the outside, a Dantel Clang and Abu Simbel, then Lord Rupert Coalesce, well back as Classic Carter then Desert Master, he's about four Fourth last on the outside of Coldman, then game on Reggie, and Imperial is last of all. It's a good gallop. They're going to the turn out of the straight, and they head up towards the 1800 metre point. Holly Dazzle has moved away, three lengths in front of Gorgeous George. Three lengths away, third then is Sculptor. Another three to Derringer, getting in a little closer, racing on the outside of Petalingro. A length for the back, Bazell, then Mart Toom. King is just putting to, put him to sleep. He's in about 10th position at the moment outside of Pentathon. Followed by Don't Tell Clang having a wide run. Abu Symbol next on the outside of Art Success. Then Lord Rupert Coalesce. Well back Desert Master. Classic Carter. Then Coldmain Game on Reggie. And Imperialist last of all. 25 lengths off the leader. 1,400 metres left to go. Holly Dazzle bowling along out in front by three on Gorgeous George. Four away third is Sculptor. Two away fourth then is Derringer on the outside of Petalin. Followed by Bazell and then Martoom. Pentathon is on the inside of Don't Tell Clang. A length into Art Success. Abu Symbol having a wide run. Lord Rupert on the rails. One Desert Master and Coldmain together. Further back came Classic Carter. Game on. And then Imperial and Reggie is still last of all. Coalesce is just a touch worse than midfield in the centre. Holly Dazzles the leader. Going onto the next bend. Short of a thousand to go. Gorgeous George is making his move on the outside. He's coming up to join Holly Dazzles now. And now it's Gorgeous George going to the lead from Holly Dazzle. Sculptor a length away third. Petaling Rose running fourth. Followed by Pentathon. He's taking the shortcuts on the rails. A length then to Bazell. Followed by Dantel Clang. Martoom's in the middle. Derringer's over on the inside. Coming wide. Desert Master but going forward. Abu Simbel is next. They straighten up now. They head for home in the Brisbane Cup. Gorgeous George. He's made that dash on the outside. And he's gone to the lead from Sculptor. Pentathon's coming through on the inside. Art's Success is up to fourth, followed by Mart Toom is under pressure, running on well as Derringer, Art Success, Gorgeous George, Sculptor and Pentathon, they're fighting it out, Gorgeous George is just in front, Art Success is trying hard to get to him, Sculptor's still there, Art Success is going to Gorgeous George, Art Success poked his nose in front and beat Gorgeous George, Art Success has won the Brisbane Cup, Gorgeous George second, Sculptor third, Pentathon fourth. Coalesce next with Desert Master Bazell, then Martoom. Further back came Coldmain, then Derringer. Reggie is well back in the field with Imperial, Lord Rupert, then Abu Simbel, Classic Carter, Holly Dazzle, Duntel Clang, Petalingro, and Game On, the last one over the nine. Art Success first. Art Success written by Tony Patillo, trained by John Collins. Beautiful ride by Patillo, patient on him. And then had to drive him hard. Great staying performance. He chased gorgeous George the full length of the straight. And it was only in the last 50 metres that he really looked as though he was going to get him. When they hit the paint, he moved up to join gorgeous George. And Patillo just kept driving him to the wire to ensure that he was able to edge away from gorgeous George and win the Brisbane Cup. That's the greatest success of his riding career, Tony Patillo. You'll recall about 12 months ago, he had that wonderful day at Ipswich when he rode the Ipswich Cup winner. But this will be the crowning glory of his riding career, this win in the Brisbane Cup this afternoon. He comes from a great racing family. 
and uh, his family will be so excited. His dad, Ken, and his brother, Tad, and Tony Petillo, who has experienced problems throughout his riding career. He, uh, he's had, had a problem with weight, but not today. Not today. He got down to the 51 to ride Art Success. He rode him a beautiful race, and he's been rewarded with success. He's by Pentire at a Zabalette, a Zabil Mare, is raced by T-Mobs, J-Mobs, and K.D. Whiteley. Trained by John Collins. And John's done a fantastic job prepping this horse for the race, ensuring that he had the right horse for the right race at the right weight and right on the day. And Art Success has done the job for him. So as a team, they've worked beautifully. Collins, Patillo, and Art Success. And Art Success has been able to score in the Brisbane Cup by a long neck over Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George went to the lead about 700 metres from home. He, he, he stayed strongly in the straight. And it took Art Success the full length of the straight to run him down. And he's just failed to do it. And a long neck away third is number 19, which is Sculptor, who ran the race of his life. He ran in the derby on Saturday, he backed him up today, Sculptor, and written by Lisa Rule Press, he fought gallantly in the home straight to be beaten only a long neck and a long neck. And fourth was Pentathon, 322.45, 322.45, which is a good gallop given the conditions. The last 600 metres in 37.63, 37.63, the winner scored by a long neck, a long neck and a length and a quarter, and the betting details. Five to one art success or six dollars. Nine dollars gorgeous George, thirty-one dollars sculptor, and twelve dollars for Pentathon. Desert Master, the unplaced favourite at four dollars eighty. Officially fourth in the race was number seventeen, Pentathon. Pentathon was fourth. Now here's Tony, he's he's cheering to the crowd already. This young man deserves a big reputation, a, a big reception as he comes back. He's building a reputation, he needs a reception today. Here is Tony Patillo. He's coming back towards the enclosure gate now. He's going to do a lap of honour down the home straight. He's thrilled with the victory of Art Success in the Brisbane Cup this afternoon. He's been one of our top riders for a long period of time, but he's come into his own in the last couple of years. And uh, the big crowd here at Eagle Farm appreciating the effort that he's put into his career. And here is Tony coming back now on Art Success. Your attention, we have a call for the club doctor to go to scale, please. Club doctor required at scale. Okay, Tony. Here's Tony Patillo on Art Success, the winner of the Brisbane Cup. He's about to come back into the enclosure. I can see the connections down there giving him a big round of applause as he is about to make his way back into the enclosure. A wonderful moment for them today. To win a Group 1 level, to win a great two-miler like the Brisbane Cup. There's only the, the three great two-milers in Australia. The Melbourne Cup, the Sydney Cup and the Brisbane Cup. Although the boys in South Australia and Western Australia may disagree with me. But it is a great race. And Tony Patillo has been successful in it this afternoon. How about another round of applause for him? He and the connections. And of course, Art Success, who did, did the job today. Here is Art Success, the Brisbane Cup winner, coming back towards the winner's circle. Fantastic win by him. A long neck, a long neck, a length and a quarter. 322.5, the last 600 metres. Art Success is back in the enclosure. I don't think Tony wants to get off. He wants to stay on board. Place getters have now returned to the enclosure after the running of the Treasury Casino Brisbane Cup. And Tony Patillo about to go to scale. John Collins, the winning trainer down there in the winner's circle. And as soon as we get the approval from the chairman of stewards, uh, Tony will really enjoy this, uh, this wonderful victory by Art Success this afternoon. Uh, Tony Patillo going to scale. Yes, he gets the nod from the chairman of stewards, so everything's right. Tony's weighed out okay after the Brisbane Cup. And he is lapping up the wonderful attention that is being directed his way as the winner of the Group 1 of this afternoon. 
And he's, clo he's close to tears.